Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you five neat tricks and features that you probably didn't know about on iOS 5. So this goes for iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone. Alright, let's get into it. So first up we have keyboard shortcuts. So hitting deep in the new OS is a nifty feature called keyboard shortcuts, which will help you save time when typing the same message over and over again. So like an email signature, or um a Twitter post or a, I don't know something like that so for an example um, let's go I'll show you how to do it so go into settings scroll down till you find general go to keyboard and then if you scroll to the bottom it'll say shortcuts and then if you hit add new shortcut you can type in a phrase like um, call you later and then for the shortcut, you can hit C-U-L or something like that. And then hit save. So now, when I type in, do an email or do a text message, if I type in C-Y-L right there, it'll automatically turn into call you later. So this saves a ton of time when texting people. And it'll make texting a lot easier and faster. Um, it also works for Twitter, um, email, uh, messages reminders, all that stuff. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, next up, we have custom vibrations. So this might be kind of silly and might not matter to you, um, but uh, this may help if you have like a hearing problem or something. Um, you can assign a specific vibration pattern to a specific contact. So let's say one of my friends calls me I can assign a specific vibration pattern so that when they um, call me and it vibrates, I can distinguish between different vibrations. So I can assign one type of vibration to one friend and another vibration to another so that I know which friend is calling me or is texting me when um, I get that vibration. That way it's not one simple vibration. Um, so to do that, go into settings, uh, general, right there. Then go down to accessibility, and then go down to custom vibrations. And then you can change the vibrations um, under the contact info in um, your phone application. So that's that one. Oh, sorry guys. Hold up a second while I set my stand back up. Alright, sorry about that. Stand just fell apart. <laughs> All right, so um, you can also um, this is kind of an add-on to this one. You can also turn on LED flash for alerts, so that your camera LED flashes every time you get a call, message, or alert. Um, and that's um, under the same thing. So under custom, right under custom vibrations, it's LED flash for alerts right there. All right, so next up. We, you can take photos with your headphones. Um, I don't actually have any headphones with me, um, but uh, you can tell what this is. Basically, um, you can now take uh, pictures with your volume buttons on your phone. So when you plug in headphones, if your headphones have, the, uh, have that little thing on it that allows you to change the volume up and down um, right next to your ears, um, you can also use those to take the pictures when you have those plugged in instead of the volume buttons or the volume buttons. So that's pretty cool. Don't really need to show you guys that one. There's no setup or anything. You can just automatically do it. Um, so the next one is uh, you can swipe for camera roll. So if I go into my camera and let's say take a picture of this wooden table. Um, alright, so I just took a picture, and now, to get to my camera roll and see that picture, instead of hitting this little icon down here, instead of hitting the icon down there to see the picture, I can simply swipe to the left, and I can see my pictures. So, this is the camera, and then it goes straight to the pictures. So, uh, that's pretty cool. So, you don't have to wait for the stupid thing to load or anything. And the last one is um, emoji. 
So, uh, most of you probably know this. This was a pretty common app that you third party application that you downloaded on your phone. Basically, what it does is it allows you to um, put like faces, like smiley faces or flowers, like tons of different um, symbols um, in text messages, mail, um, all that stuff. Um, and you used to have to download a third party application called Emoji to enable it. But this time, um, Apple has finally included it right in the OS. And all you have to do to activate it is go to General, scroll down to Keyboard, and then you go down to International Keyboards, hit Add New Keyboard, and scroll down to tell you find Emoji right there. And so now it should be added. Uh, to show you an example of Emoji, if you go here, um, when you're... When the keyboard pops up, there's a little icon down here that looks like a circle with a bunch of lines. Then when you click it, it'll have all these different um, faces or symbols. Uh, you can see there's a ton of them, like buildings, trip, uh, smiley faces. So I hit the smiley face, and I'm not sure if you can see that, but... No, you can't see that. Too blurry. But basically it types in a smiley face in the text message so the person will get a smiley face alright guys that's uh... F those are five neat tricks that you should try try out um... they're pretty awesome and you probably didn't know about them because they're kind of hidden and not a lot of people know about them so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and as always thanks for watching and see you later